And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Hexcore Noxus. This is our next meme tier donation deck. This one's from Nashor, who donated for this deck and the next deck and the Karma's Peak, both of these two. What we have here is we have like an aggressive um, Noxus PNZ deck that's a little different from your traditional discard burn. We can we can play a long game as well. So we can we can, this is a um, basically exactly what like a mid range deck is. We can be very aggressive or we can play a control game. Um, you know we can we can play either one of those. And our um, card that kind of puts this to, puts this together is the hex core foundry. So round start, all players draw one. So that's gonna give that's gonna just increase the amount of um, resources that both players have. So if we each have like more resources, we're gonna want to have cheaper resources that we can um, play faster. And so that's why we're gonna play a card like Blades Edge. That's just gonna be pretty cheap, pretty easy to get out of the hand. Because um, we're gonna want to get stuff out of the hand. So then uh, that also makes um, discard cards a little bit better if we're going to have more resources so we can play like get excited and discard a card and, and not really feel that too bad about discarding a card because we're going to just end up getting more cards anyway where our opponent may be just drawing too many cards they can't cast everything um, same kind of with the spinning axes like where we can just discard a card to spinning axe to help level up draven where we don't really mind our resource going away um, but then we have something like survival skills which is awesome with draven awesome with spinning axe um, but, you know, again, this is a Hexcore Foundry can help find this. And this is going to be, you know, like a zero cost card that we don't mind um, just dumping um, to either Get Excited or Draven. Um, so that works pretty well there. We're also going to be playing Tribune Prowler because we do have lots of threes. We're going to be playing Puffcat Peddler, of course, to go along with our Hexcore Foundry and just Puffcaps in, gen in general with uh, Teemo and everything. But we got a lot of threes because we have the Arachnoid Sentry Ravenous Flock combo, which is, a, you know, really nice combo. Um, but overall, a good amount of threes with Draven, Peddler, Hexcore Foundry. Get excited. So we're going to um, try some Tribeam and Privulator out also. That should be really fun. Um, crowd favorite is just an awesome, awesome thread at four mana. Usually like a 5-4 a minimum overwhelm, but a lot of times could be a 6-5 or a 7-6. Chump Bump, of course, making those Mushroom Clouds and doing its thing. Um, and that's kind of our deck. We got Puff Caps, we got um, Hexcore Foundry, and we got some good attackers and good ways to slow them down and get like some two for ones like the sentry stun um the tribune and probulator uh, some good threats there all right so let's give it a try Hexcore noxus just playing on over in normal today with it being meme tier day because you still play very good decks in normal even though like we are in normal as you can see twisted fate aphelios um, just because you play normal doesn't mean you don't play good at decks. Um, I kind of think I'm just going to keep all of this. It's, you know, a little bit like maybe we don't need the Hexcore Foundry. Uh, this is going to be one like where they, they are going to draw tons of cards, but maybe we do. Let's, let's just try it out. All right, we have a lot of Get Exciteds. And we'll just discard this Mushroom Cloud with a Get Excited. But Get Exciteds do a good job killing both their champions. Yeah, if they already have so much card advantage and refill their hand, then you know Hexcore Foundry may not be a bad thing at all. I do really wish we had like one more mana this next turn where we could double spell with Foundry and get excited. This next turn, maybe I'm a little greedy. Because I want to play both of them. I want to play Foundry, and I'll, but I also probably want get excited if they play a champion. Yeah, good chance that maybe we level up Draven our next attack. Never lost a fair game. We'll play one. I could see I could also see just kind of going for the puff cap kind of angle with how many cards they draw and I have Hexcore Boundary. Like maybe I just discard spinning axe and just throw the puff cap in their deck. 
No, I'll keep spinning axe. Okay, so while I know like this would be a good time, you know, like we have the two mana, Clump of Worms cost two. I'm gonna actually just wait till next turn because I think I next turn I want to again have Foundry and get excited available. Where if I if I play the Clump of Worms, I won't have both. Wow, that's a pretty sweet looking Tribune and Probulator. It's just not a champion. I'm just saving. Get excited for champions. Right up. Ooh, you're interesting. Thank you, survival skills. Another hush. So I either... I mean, I could use both Get excited to kill this and then keep my Draven alive, but I think I'm just going to let Draven die. I'm sorry, Draven. But we got two hushes out of their hand. Flesh was weak, but look at me now. I really want Puff Cap Peddler. Start making you know to start making a bunch of Puff Caps in their deck. If I cast the Ignition, then I don't have the Ignition to discard. Spell mm. Cascades are pretty nice. I am saving Scorched Earth for Veiled Temple. With how much card draw they have in Hexcore Foundry, it's possible you run them out of cards, but Puffcat Peddler is still my best draw. Puffcat Peddler. Draven's not bad either. All right, probably later up to four. Turn this into a deal five because of Pale Cascade. This could kind of backfire if they have some blessed vigor, I guess. But I'll also, you know, just ra rather get a five drop than a four drop. Maybe we'll hit like Avros and Hearthguard or Kato the Arm. Something really cool like that. But 
of course they do have some plus vigor we get a five drop plus this other seven power and we're attacking for a lot well they did um I guess I can't attack with the two one all right they're taking it all down to six Where's our peddler? Okay. Twist fate's only at two. I wanted to save the Scorched Earth for the Veiled Temple, but maybe I just got to use it now. Alright, so I'm going to do this. Then I think I may just like... Get excited them, put them down to eight, and then try beam and get a three drop. It does mean I like I wouldn't be attacking with Tarkaz. But we would we'd open attack with a good amount of stuff. You open, die of this is definitely the aggressive line. Peddler! That's what's up! We got a peddler. Uh, too bad I don't have any spells, but we got a peddler. Let's do this. <laughs> that's, that's one way to get a peddler. Oh my gosh, they're going pick a card. Oh my gosh, they're going another pick a card. They're going to draw so many cards. Oh, they're dead. <laughs> We found a peddler, and the opponent died immediately. Coincidence? I think not. All Demacia, all day. We got Fiora, Garen, Quinn, all Demacia. What we got? So we're gonna have bot peddler. Do I want a second bot? I'm not sure if I want the second bot. Like the second bot may be a little slow against a, a Demacia deck. Doing all its stuff. Let's we'll mulligan we'll the second bot. Ooh, a Timo. New recruit reporting in. Two, three, four. Um, charge? It's always a possibility they have sharp sight. If they do, that's sad. Basically, sharp side is just Mystic Shot against Teemo. Hooray! I'm, I'm leading with Ballistic Bot over uh, Clump of Wumps because I'd rather discard Ignition than discard Mushroom Cloud. I'd rather discard the Fleeting Ignition. Like if they just go, if they go Fiora right here. Um. You know, they have, they have, they have Fiora. I, I want to get excited discard Ignition. Alright, cool. I think we can play this now. Alright, multiple Vanguard lookouts. It definitely looks like a newer player. With their Vanguard lookouts. Can I... Let's see. Can we level up Teemo this turn? So right now it's at 5. It needs 10. This counts as... Yeah. So we can. Alright. So let's start with the ignition. And then we can we can play Clump of Wumps and the Mushroom Cloud that it creates. And that will level up Teemo. Demacia shall prevail. 
Eh, I probably don't need to bolt that thing immediately. I could attack with the Ballistic Bot. It's a pretty free attack, but if they, they block with a, a Lookout, which they should. Turns my bot into a 3-2, and I don't think I really need to do that. All right, so they got... Well, they had 32 Puff Caps. But now down to 29. Ooh, we got a Foundry. Oh, yeah, this is definitely... A, yeah. Definitely just elites, that's true. You think they may have an elite quest? That's possible. Alright, so we'll get excited. Discard Ignition. Save. Teemo. I'll take the four. I'll injure. The first blade. So we can block first blade. So hopefully no sharp sight or single combat or concerted strike. Anything like that. I guess single combat wouldn't be bad, but... Or really the other one, but... Basically I just want to hit him with this. So I only did just... So we doubled up 35 to 70. I guess if we could play a couple of spells first and maybe make that 70, turn that 70 into like an 80 or something. But I'm glad we didn't play any spells first because if I would have cast Ignition first, I would not have had the mana to take out this Quinn. Which... Do I take out Quinn? Or actually maybe do I take out this... This Valor. Valor. Now we take out Quinn. Stay on the target. We'll have the Get Excited that can take out the Valor. Um, before damage is dealt. Alright, so they drew five pup caps. They're at six. I can also just let them kill my Teemo and just go. I could let them kill Teemo and just go all in on pup caps right now because they are at six. And we have Hexcore Foundry at play. So I could just have Get Excited go upstairs. But that would be me having my Teemo die. I want Teemo to die. I'll never let you go, Timo. Alright, 28 cards, 71 puff caps. Very possible they draw six. They're probably on on average they draw five this turn. So if we get a little lucky, they'll draw six. Ooh, they drew four. So we were a little unlucky. We even had a blade's edge. We'll make that 166. They're at zero life, but more importantly, they have 166 puff caps. <laughs> there we go. We did it together. Hexcore Noxus. Riven Victor. We got the same regions here, Noxus PNZ. They're going to be going with their created cards. Riven, create some cards. Victor does as well. Um, I like Teemo, Peddler, Sentry. Do we keep a second Teemo? 
is the main question, and I think the answer is, why not? So, there we go. We'll keep the second Teemo. I'm cold, I'm hungry, and there's rocks in the I could have this Teemo block Finally, and then play new Teemo to attack with. But whenever we have a 1-3 that we're going to play the next turn, I don't think that makes the most sense to block. Oh man, now we have flock combo too. There's so much cool stuff. Hmm. Maybe I got blocked with you, Teemo. I know I have the Blades Edge, but it, so I, okay, what? So I guess I guess I just Blades Edge and then Ignition this turn, and then next turn I have four mana and I get to Peddler Ignition, Mushroom Cloud, boom. Okay, yeah, I guess that's what we do. So let's see. Right now it's because it's at five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fifteen. Oh, no, 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 I was playing this. Okay. We'll be fine. Yeah, I, I, I had just so many options there that, that turn and took just a little bit too long. Oh no. That's bad. Nothing like the great outdoors. I'll scout ahead. More mushrooms. I wish I would have killed I wish I would have blades edged and had that thing dead. And not taking the three damage. This is, has not worked out perfectly. That quick attack. I was planning on like blocking with sentry. Oh, this has not worked out how I've wanted it to so far. Why not flock the 3-3? Three, because three? I, I want to flock the, the 4 health. Not the 3 health. We already we we had two arachnoid sentries. Alright, well I'm out of cards. They still have five. <laughs> Survival skills. What am I doing with you? That's scary. So we'll have to play the survival skills to keep keep Teemo alive. Love that survival skills animation. It's always so cool, hard casting it. All 
All right, that's good. No, let the damage happen. Just take eight. Mm. Quite a okay, so now they're going to have 17 puff caps, so not, still not likely to draw a puff cap with each, you know, with each turn, but basically every other draw could be a puff cap. Oh no, am I, am I going to die? I may die. All right, let's draw some puff caps. Come on, draw some puff caps. Can you improve perfection? And we've got one. Just one. Any more than that? One is rookie numbers. So my opponent knows that they're dead if they don't kill me this turn. So they're going to be going all in, and I can't really stop them. But they're going to be going all in here because they know that if they don't kill me this turn, just, you know, like from from this, like they, they can't survive anymore. It looks like, like if they if they win this, it's going to be because I didn't Blades Edge the 3-1, right? Like I should have three extra life if I would have Blades Edge that 3-1 before. Like, I guess if I would have Blades Edge the 3-1 before, maybe they fervor and do three damage to me and it, and it all just kind of works out the same. Um, If I... If I block, then they get to play pump spells, right? Like, if I block, they play pump spells. But we'd be at seven, but they have the opportunity to play pump spells. If I don't block, they don't get to play pump spells, but we just take three extra damage. Then we're at four, so all they need is four burn spell damage. This is gonna hurt for you. I think I block. I think it's... Yay! Okay, that's good. Definitely a very good block, then. Yeah, because they could just have Mystic Shot, Mystic Shot, or Decimate, or you know something like that. Like it's it's an ally strikes an enemy. If it has Overwhelm, it deals excess damage to the Nexus. Dang. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Maybe this makes uh, Mountain Goat. I say maybe this makes the uh, the pup cap two drop that I would be able to give them another pup. Come on, draws. Come on, two, one, two, no. So close. So close. Good game, opponent. Good game. I took. I mean, I. I it's my fault. I took too long. Earlier with the Blaze Edge. GG's. That was a, that was a good game. Yep, I think the Blaze Edge cost us that one. But that's alright. That was a fun game to play. Um, all all Targon. Are they going to have Targon Veil Temple? Right? Like, are they going to have Veil Temple for the Scorched Earth? Um, I'm not sure. I guess we'll just get rid of it. We'll, we'll have to see. But I like having all these three mana cards for the Tribune and Populator. And the Scorched Earth was going... Like, the thing about all these threes is these are all... These all require, like, regular mana. The Scorched Earth was going to be able to be played with spell mana, which would have been nice.
Well, this is not what we wanted to see. And our... Our deck didn't really help us out with, <laughs> with the cards that we've drawn since our mulligan. Because I kept Foundry, Improbulator, Draven, and then we just drew uh, four cards that cost three or plus mana. Wow. All five cards we've drawn have cost three plus mana. Five for five. I obviously wish I would have just mulliganed everything if I knew that we were just going to be five for five. With cards that cost this much mana. Oh, that must be nice. Okay. That worked out well for us. Probably imagine another Zoe coming in, right? So they have, they have 10 cards in hand. They got to play something. I'll just pass here. They got to play something. So they have 10 cards in hand, so these should just get burned. See a hush. See a spacey sketcher. <laughs> so we, we get to draw cards they don't. That's what you get, Targon, for having all this card advantage. Ew. Yuck. Lifesteal. Spell shield. Yuck. <laughs> yeah, just, they just can't hold all this value. What's a... So give it. I know give it all does. Is there is there a Targon version of give it all that would like give their other stuff? Life steal spell shield. So one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven. So no, I can't. I can't play that. You have too many cards. Zoe's level up. That's that's what it is. I, I knew there was something. I was trying to think of like what what they have. Yeah, Zoe's level up. That's what they're going for. Okay, okay. Um. If I fall, so be it. So be it. Either one. I know your true heart. Defiance is our way. You were misguided. Alright, so I want to level up Draven. And get cards out of hand. Lame. So it's two hushes. The beast below. Well, we are working our way towards deep. Sunlight 
I'm basically waiting one turn to see if we draw Puff Cat Peddler before playing this Mushroom Cloud, but I guess, you know, with us drawing these Get Excited, it's kind of good that I didn't, didn't cast that Mushroom Cloud. But I could see just giving them 15 Puff Caps. Give them some puff. Let's give them some puff caps. I'll pass and turn. So I gave them five puff caps over just dealing one damage with some of those. So, like, I kind of want to Blades Edge this thing and then be able to play a leveled up Teemo and attack with Teemo. But, you know, they are at four. I have four direct damage in hand. Um, Targon always has, you know, like, your star shapings and things like that to be able to heal their Nexus. So, it may be better just to... We've already seen two Hushes go away. Nah. Alright, we'll just attack. All right, they have all three hush. So we go down to two. They're going to have something crazy good to win this game. That's probably not it. Probably not it. All right, so we will take the victory, three and one. GG's. Okay, for game number five here, we're gonna try one game in ranked. Our deck feels pretty good. It feels like it is definitely good enough for ranked. So let's go ahead and give that a try. Hopefully face another slower Targon Aphelios deck. There's a lot of those in ranked these days, and that's what we're gonna hopefully face. So we're taking it over to Masters rank, because we're three and one, and really should probably be th four and oh. Um, I, I messed up, you know, the game with taking too long on that Blade's Edge. So it really should be 4-0 with this deck right now. And yeah, yeah, I agree, Togrek. We're not facing the, the best competition there in normal for our deck. And I feel like we, our deck deserves some better competition. So we'll get the, the Puff Cap Mirror. See who can out Hexcore Foundry the other. This looks good. I I am worried about like turn one Teemo. They have like turn one Teemo. That, that's gonna be kind of rough. But besides that, I like I like what we got going on here. Cause so Puff Cat Peddler is the card that we gotta kill, right? Like Puff Cat Peddler is the most important card for them. So we're, we have a get excited to kill a Peddler, and if that doesn't work, cause they always play Elixir of Irons and Troll Chance and things like that. So if that doesn't work, then we can also flock it. Um, so we have like that combination. And then the, the Clump of Wumps provides... Two, three, four. Um, I guess I play this in block. Then they use Troll Chant. The Clump of Wumps provides the card to discard for Get Excited. Whoa, what's up, Saucy Mailman? Dude, it's going great. How you been? Y'all get tons of hype in the chat for the sauciest of mailmen around. Mr. Saucy has a wonderful, if y'all don't know about Saucy Mailman, another wonderful uh, YouTube content creator and, of course, Twitch streamer here. Y'all need to check out his channel. Definitely has one of my favorite channels. Another day in the field. A Vandal Scout tries their best. What's up, Saucy? All right, let's, I think... This isn't going to work out well for me, but okay. That's That was best case scenario. Troll Chant was worst case scenario. Because that was best case scenario because I can still do this. 
and they can't protect it anymore. Brittle Steel would have also been bad. But, you know, like we traded two for two. We traded mana. Um, I just can't play Improbulator at one damage. And I need card to discard. Okay, two Teemos down. That's good. And now these Improbulators are starting to be respectable. Avalanche? Well, that's a good card. I'm glad we've seen no Peddler so far. I'm really glad no Peddler so far. Not happy about that, though. Ow, ow. All right, these improbable layers are at four. No, that's a peddler. No, 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 no. Ooh. I can't block. Heard there was a little fella asking for me. Put on me mask and secure me tail. Start to die. <laughs> He's a peddler, not a meddler. My pretty. Robin? Go. <laughs> I guess we're gonna have some daybreak. You suck. Guess guess we get some daybreak. So Teemo's a good draw here because I have perfect amount of mana to play Teemo and then also play Sentry and Probulator. Alright, so no... Uh, no Sejuani. So that's good. And I think I just play this and just get the six mana, the six cost thing to just go ahead and attack. I know I'm not killing a Sejuani, but uh, we hopefully will get something big because it's a six drop. Yeah, I mean that thing's pretty big. So let's put him down to six. I could go spinning axe, put him down to five, and give him three more puff caps. <sighs> I think I'll wait on the spinning axe. I don't know what. It... Yeah, let's go. We'll do it. All right, so we're out of cards. We've gone all in. They've had some, yeah, they've had some clutch thermogenic beams. Good draw. <laughs> no, my spinning axes. Where'd you go? Ooh. Dude, yeah, that'd be sweet, Broski. Alright, they aren't doing a good job drawing their puff caps. Let's attack, attack. And go for that. I'll go block, block. Yep, yep. Just one card, I feel pretty good about this one. Oh, that is... 
That is something there. Okay. <laughs> they always miss their puff caps. I mean, I guess I have like the same number of puff caps, but. Another foundry? Oh, man. We'll see if they have, like, Sejuani or something here. This should just, I mean, this should obviously just be game. They have to hope I draw just a ton of puff caps out of my nine. And there we go, four and one. Should be GG's. Nah. That's rude. That was a good game. Don't need to be rude. Okay, four and one with some... Hexcore Noxus. I really liked this deck. This one was cool. Yeah, it really should have been a 5-0, right? Because I, I messed up with the Blade's Edge there. I took too long, and then my, my timer ran out. And then that, that cost us that game. So, really should have been a 5-0. Um, but, you know. Oh, well. I, uh... You know, that's, that's something you gotta pay attention to your time, right? Like, And I didn't, but... Uh, this was really cool. I liked the I like the Noxus cards compared here. So like sometimes with your Hexcore Foundry Puffcat Peddler decks, you know you can um, struggle with a not having good enough removal, but b also not really be able to unload your hand, and c also not be able to kill the opponent fast enough. And Noxus kind of helped with all that kind of stuff. It gave us good removal, Blades Edge, Ravenous Flock, obviously especially Ravenous Flock. Like Ravenous Flock was clutch in here. And it allowed us to help help empty our hand because we have the cheaper cards like that. And we have Draven making the spinning axes um, and Draven protecting stuff with survival skills. And uh, also help kill our opponent because, you know, like these cards are pretty aggressive at killing the opponent. Sentry, even without Flock, Sentry was still good of like stunning enemies and allowing us for attack for, attack for a bunch of damage. Because you want to get like the more Nexus damage that you get, the better the puff caps are going to be. And the Sentries... Really help with that. You know, of course, obviously with Flock, it's great, but even without Flock, helped with that too. So this overall, the deck performed really well. I was really impressed with this one. And then, of course, you just have Tribeam and Probulator, which, just, which is just an incredible card and a really fun card to play. Love playing this card, um, but we were frequently getting four, five, six on our Tribeam and Probulators with all of these um, extra three mana cards. Get Excited was really good. Just so versatile. We always had like things to discard between our Mushroom Clouds or Ignitions or Spinning Axes. Like, we were very easy. Like We were able to discard cards very easily. So it worked out really well. So there we go. That's Hexcore Noxus. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck if you try it out yourself. Hopefully y'all enjoy it. You want to play um, a Noxus Puff Cap deck. Um, also, we got the new region coming up here in just a couple of days. We got Sharima. So if there are um, cards from Sharima that y'all want to talk about, you got any, uh, you know, anything like that, let me know what you're excited about with the set. What do y'all want to see um, played right away with all the new cards? Because, of course, we're going to play all of them. <laughs> you know, we're going to play all the new champions. They all look like a lot of fun. Um, and so we'll be playing them all. But which ones do y'all want to see first? And what kind of combinations do you want to see with like the old champs and the new and things like that? All right, but that's it here for Hexcore Noxus. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.